I'm Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. Have you ever wondered how to upload new fonts to Cricut Design Space? Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. But first, if you're new here and you're interested in crafts and Cricut tutorials, hit that subscribe button and press that notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. So how do you upload new fonts to Cricut Design Space? The easy answer is you don't. You need to download new fonts to your computer in order to use them in Design Space. I will be showing you how to upload new fonts to your Mac computer, and I'll also be showing you some of my favorite sites to get free fonts. In Design Space, when you click on fonts, you'll notice three options, all, system, and Cricut. Cricut are the fonts that Cricut has loaded and system are the fonts that you have loaded onto your computer. There are a few different places I like to go to get free fonts. One of them is called Defont. As you'll see, there's a number of different fonts and they're all free. However, most of these are just free for personal use. So meaning you can use them for yourself, but you're not going to be able to sell items with these fonts on them. Some of them do have options to purchase a commercial license for these fonts. Another cool thing I enjoy about Defont is when you click on a font that you like, you can type in your text here. Let's say you want to do the word mom. And it's going to show you right below what the word mom will look like in the font you chose. One of the places I love to go to get free fonts is called Font Bundles. Now, Font Bundles, there are a variety of different font packages you can pick and you can purchase these packages or you can buy individual fonts, but they also have free fonts. So at the top, if you click on free fonts, they will show you what is available for free. And the thing that I love most about these fonts is that they come with a commercial license, so you don't have to worry about using the fonts on items that you sell. Now, I really loving this font here called South Australia, and their free fonts are always changing, so just because it's free today does not mean it's going to be free tomorrow. So I wanna download this font, so I'm going to click on it. And right here you'll say, it says download free now. So I'm going to click on that. Now up at the top right, you'll see a circle with an arrow pointing down and you can click on that and it'll say font bundles, South Australia. So I'm just going to click on that. Now you'll notice two different versions of the font here, OTF and TTF. I usually like to do the OTF as it's just a newer version of the font. So we're going to click on that and then we'll have a pop-up box here and we'll just click on install font. Now it has added our new font into font books and you can see all the characters here if we scroll down. Now let's go back into Cricut Design Space. Since I still have Design Space open, if I go in and search for my new font, well we're typing self and there's no results found but that's just because I still have Design Space open. You're going to need to close it down first and then reopen Design Space to be able to access your new font. So let's go and close this down. I'm not going to save this. And let's open Cricut back up again. Make this a little bigger for you. Now if I go to New Project and I wanna type some text, and we're going to search for a new font now. We'll see it right here. Now, often in Design Space, when you're scrolling through your fonts, they don't all appear as they actually are. So what I like to do is open up font books on my Apple computer, and then you can Find the font you're looking for and it'll show you exactly what each character looks like. If you learned something new today, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Cricut tutorials.